Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS on Redfall on PC. We're going to start by optimizing Windows and after that we will go inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one, causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphic setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have a, an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have uh, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for Nvidia, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. So if you have an NVIDIA card, just go on your NVIDIA setting, go to control panel, open it, go to manage 3D setting and just use pretty much the setting that I'm currently using. Honestly, they're pretty much default. So the first one that you need to change is your low latency mode. If you have this technology, make sure that it's at on. The other one is your if you want to lock your FPS. Uh, for an example, you have like a 170 Hertz monitor and you want to stay in your G-Sync ring. Uh, range sorry you just put your uh, FPS here at like something like 167 something like that you want to be under 170 Hertz to always stay in your G-Sync range so if you want to do that it will do that for all your game it's a global setting over there so I'm gonna unlock it and this is pretty much it if you have access to the change ECC state I recommend to uncheck it this will slow your VRAM so you don't want to use that for change resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So you're, if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. And super important, look at your refresh rate. A lot of people are missing this step. They buy like a new screen and by default it's at 60. So use the uh, maximum refresh rate that is available on your uh, monitor. The last parameter will be your G-Sync. So I recommend if you want to use G-Sync, I recommend to, first of all, you need to enable it. And I recommend to use the enable for window and full screen. So if you're playing a game like in borderless mode, it will be applied. Also, you can select just one uh, display screen, depending on whatever. If, if your second screen is not compatible with G-Sync, you will just push it to one monitor. Uh, me, I'm not using it. I have a 4090 uh, for my GPU, so I just want to unlock my FPS. So in majority of the game, I'm getting like 250 FPS and um, my monitor refresh rate is at 170 Hertz. So I just want to lower my input lag. So that's why I just unlock everything, but it really depends on your situation. So this is pretty much it for NVIDIA. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, 
really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's gonna make sure that it optimize your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divided by two, so for me it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically and you just lower the software like that and you're gonna make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2% to 10% boost in your FPS depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game, so first of all, window mode, I really recommend to play in full screen. Don't use the other mode. Uh, you will have some random stuttering, so super important to go with full screen. For resolution, I really recommend to go with native. So if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, 1080p. Uh, I'm not using V-Sync. Uh, it's a question of preference. I want the, the lowest input lag, but honestly, if you don't like those steering, just activate it or use other technology like the G-Sync or FreeSync on Radeon. After that, for the field of view, by default, we will be at 90. If you add some field of view, you will see that your FPS will decrease. So maybe just wait uh, on the uh, the old guide. And if you're still struggling with your FPS, maybe lower a little bit your FOV. If, you, if you're not, just put some FOV higher if you want. Motion blur, I recommend to deactivate it. Uh, it's very blurry in this game if you're using it, so don't use it. After that, for quality, just go with custom. And uh, we're gonna change some parameter over there. So first of all, uh, we're gonna we're gonna start with the upscaling. If you have an Nvidia card, just go DLSS. Honestly, uh, it's pretty good with quality. And if you have the 4000 series, add frame generation, and you will have a lot of FPS. Uh, if you don't have those technology, the other one I can recommend is the uh, Super Resolution 2.1. So FSR 2.1, go with quality and you can add also some sharpening if you feel that your image is not sharp enough. Uh, it, honestly, it's pretty good. With the uh, FSR, you will probably gain 10 to 14% in your FPS. And with DLSS with quality, you will probably gain like 14% over there. And if you add frame generation, you can add another 20%. This is pretty crazy. Very good parameter. After that, let's go to the effect. This one I recommend to go with low. Uh, and again, it really depends on how many FPS that you, do you want, what kind of computer that you need. But the effect, this one will stabilize a lot your FPS. If you're getting some random drops when you're fighting, stuff like that, it's probably because of effect quality. So I recommend to go with low. Foliage, you can run easily medium. I just saw 1% difference between low and medium. So this one, just go with medium. Post-processing, I recommend to go with low. Um, it's very blurry when you add mo the post-processing after I, like I or Epic. So my recommendation is really go with low. You will gain a nice 8% in your FPS. And it will be a, a lot more uh, visible. The image quality will be better. For shading quality, I recommend to go with medium. Uh, it's a best compromise i can say if you go at i you will lose four percent over there so it really depends how many fps that you need right now and um yeah that's pretty much it for shadow this is the parameter that will provide you the most of your fps so if i compare a pick to low you can expect 20 percent boost in your fps so honestly if you're you just need like 10 fps in this game start with shadow put this one at low look at your fps and you will probably be fine for texture quality, I recommend to go with Epic if you have 8 gig of more VRAM. If you have 6 gig, go with I, 4 gig medium, and less than 4 gig, go with low. 
The last one is your view distance quality. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of low, it's too near in front of you. Medium seems to be a good balance. When you go at high and epic, you will see a big decrease in your FPS. So medium seems to be the good balance over there. So this is pretty much it, guys, for the best setting for Redfall. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.